All right, we're back. This is the second time that we're talking about Avery Johnson. We talked about him before the season. Now we get to watch him during the season, see what Colorado has to look out for, and see what our predictions of him last year, if they're coming to fruition. Stay tuned. Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us because we bumped in prime. Well, hello, who's next? Are you capping, talking, sauce, do your words match your video? Well, hello, who's next? Can't nobody stop us because we bumped Yo, 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 what's going on? Buffed and Prime, we back. Uh, CT the fan, T Cal. What's good, coach? Man, we just see there. Y'all go already. <laughs> Talking Kansas State quarterback Avery Johnson facing Colorado this week. So we're gonna get into it. So CT, let's let's get some some information on Avery. Good background on Avery Johnson, man. I, he's the quarterback, 6'2, 192. He's a sophomore, true sophomore. Um, hometown, hometown Wichita, Kansas. Uh, high school he's, maze. Uh, high school rivals had him ranked as the top dual threat quarterback in his class. His senior year, 2,700 yards, 29 touchdowns, and three interceptions. Turned out uh, he was a, a running oh, on 153 of 228 passing, running 817 yards, 15 scores on 98 car carries. He led the Eagles to a 12 and 1 record. And that was his, yeah, that's his senior stats. So, yeah. Uh, as a freshman last year, he threw for 479 yards with five touchdowns. He rushed for 296 yards and seven touchdowns on 52 carries. Five touchdown score at Texas Tech, uh, at the game of Texas Tech, rushing, and he had the he was a Pop Tarts Bowl MVP. Yeah, and we broke that bowl game down. Um, so these are his current stats. Yeah, his current stats are 879 passing yards. He has nine passing touchdowns and four interceptions on the ground. Johnson's rushing for 321 yards and adding two rushing touchdowns. Man, what stands out to you about that touchdown to interception ratio, bro? Um, what I said in the initial breakdown, he is not an elite quarterback. Um, <laughs> he's a football player. He's a football player, but as a quarterback, he's 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 not elite. He has a lot of work to do mechanics wise. We've been watching him breaking down for Colorado. So now we're gonna we're gonna check out some film, see what he does good, see some stuff he struggles at. Uh, if you want the full breakdown, like deep dive, those are in Patreon, but we're gonna we're gonna go through and see see what we need to expect from Mr. Avery Johnson uh, this yeah. coming week because this is a big game. Kansas State is ranked; they are number eighteen in the country. Yeah, number eighteen okay. in the country. So it's a, night it's game, a Boulder. Want that atmosphere, electric? It's, it's it's gonna go. So we got him here versus UT Martin. Ooh. Obviously, we've watched all these games already, but uh, something to pay attention to here is he doesn't pass a ton without play action, meaning without faking the ball to the center or faking the ball to the running back and then playing off of that. That's not what he does best. He's not just a pocket passer. He's not going to drop back and just kill you from the pocket. That's not who he is. So they use play action really effectively because a guy that – we're doing another video on DJ Giddens is really effective in the run game. So that causes these linebackers to be have to come up. And then that allows for holes over the middle. And they do a lot of routes in the middle of the field. They want it right in front of them versus outside the numbers. He's not as good throwing really outside the hashes or outside the numbers. Those are further throws that require you to be very accurate. Otherwise, it can end up in interceptions. <laughs> so we'll see it here. Guy falls down. And that's oh, a good player. pass, though. This that, that's a great ball. Great ball. But it's wide open. It's UT Martin. I I expect you to be able to complete those. You <laughs> right, right. Now we got versus Arizona. And this is we have another pass. Scrambling out, throwing on the run. Ooh. That's what's dangerous. That's to me, that's the dangerous. Yeah. And you could say a few things here. You can say he may be throwing it back shoulder to him, mm -hmm. meaning to his right shoulder to stop him from going out of bounds. That is a possibility, especially with it being third and 12, first down right here. But I've also seen him throw behind when he wasn't specifically trying to do that. Now, if mm -hmm. he was trying to do this right here, it's fantastic. Throw back shoulder. 
so your receiver doesn't continue to the sideline, able to cut up field. Because again, first down's right here at the 37. So he's one yard away, able to turn up field, get a first down, but then make a guy miss, get active after the play. And uh, that's number one. What's his name? Jace? Jace Brown. Yeah. yeah. Jace Brown. And that's their leading receiver. And we got him versus Tulane. They they struggled this game. He struggled this game. Pretty sure it was just the running back will. Yeah, this is what opened things up for them. Yeah, <laughs> take out called it before you see the whole play. You yeah. put the time in this game. Yeah. He's the running backs to the near side. We got a nasty split right here. And then they're gonna be running a mesh concept with the spot. Almost every time you have this type of format, you're gonna have a will off of it. You're gonna have a will off of it. So I need to uh put this play in actually. I was talking about that with uh, the high school team mm. where there we have this exact same play, but the coach just has to run it back to the flat and you know, 11 can run. So I right. say, hey, take, have him turn it up into a wheel because oh, like I've yeah. talked about over and over what happens is even if it's zone coverage on the defense, these guys will get sucked in here from him going like that and him running the mesh drag. And then they don't have eyes on the running back out of the backfield. You'll see that here. Gets past everybody. Great catch by DJ. Good throw by Avery. But again, this is is it's wide open. Wide it's open. not him making yeah, a throw yeah. between anybody. It's, uh, he, he's looking at it the entire time. He knew from the start of the play where he was going to go with it. And this got them in the game. What was the score at this point? 20. Yeah. yeah see, they were down seven. Mm -hmm. at, was that actually? Ain't no way this was actually fourth and 13. I don't think it was, but uh, it was third quarter, mm -hmm. and, uh, fourth and one. Yeah, this, yeah, I think up. it's, yeah, I think it's the, the way the clip cut. Yeah, if they don't get that, it's trouble. <laughs> it's, it was it's trouble bad. anyway. They were glad Tulane got, got out. So, another play action. What do you think of his throwing motion? Uh, it's kind of awkward, like a longer. Longer throwing motion. And again, they work a lot off of play action. We got a post right here. Wide open. Good ball. Good ball. Good ball. Could have been a touchdown, but that's still a really good throw. We'll be able to see it from this angle. Really a one read guy. He knows where he's going before the play. He's locked on to him the entire time. It's a good throw. That's a good throw. This is against... Who did I say? Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State. Off play action. This is what I was talking about with play action. We have a running game that is very threatening. Mm -hmm. and this is a, technically a RPO, which is a run pass option. But when you have a running game that's really threatening, the linebackers have to respect the run. So when right. they see this run action, and probably a zone, no pull. Yeah, when they see this run action, they have to respect it. So they have to be ready to come downhill. Now they have, so Avery, he's looking downfield right now. He has the option to hand it off. Or if he sees these linebackers come downfield in his slant right here, when, then he's going to take that because there's nobody else in the middle of the field. Nobody else. And we're showing all his explosive plays uh, from the season, or at least the top explosive plays from the season. And actually, let's let's look at that from the tight real quick, just so you can see what I'm talking about. Linebackers come down here. Now the middle oh, yeah. space it right there. Nobody near him. And that's pretty much what the offense is built around. It's everything comes off of the, uh, yeah, off the run game. Run game. All oh, right. So the run game, run game is king. Right. So this this is another tough one. So there's gonna be a read option power. So we, we got this guard pulling right here. We have a jet sweep coming. We have lead blocks all out here, but Avery's going to be able to cut this up, which you want to, you definitely want to contain him. Mm -hmm. He would rather bounce outside. Uh, but if you give him a seam, he's going to take it. Ah, they all, oh, that's, ooh, yeah, everybody that's, went that's with the jet sweep. Yeah. Everybody went. With, everybody yeah. went. But linebackers. We just talking football because that's what we do. My linebackers. 
y'all have to see the pool. And I think that was the problem. They only have one linebacker in the box. He's playing front side, but we have a pool right here. Pools take you to the ball. If he had seen this pool, they're not going to pull a lineman to do a jet sweep out here. He's, right. he's not going to have any impact on it. Mm -hmm. They're pulling him for a reason. Pulling him for a reason. Nobody with the pool at all. Allows Avery to cut inside and get busy. Start rolling. Start rolling. That was, yeah, that was nasty work. Yeah, a, they, they got fooled by that for sure. And that was BYU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was BYU. Yeah. 38 to 9. It's almost a, I wouldn't say this exact, but yeah, they get you that, that direction. Yeah, let me see what. Yeah, no, not, not the exact same. Got Jet Sweep, comes out here, bounces it, bounces it again. You got to be able to contain him. Got to make sure your force players are force players. But this is this is when he's at his best with the ball in his hands running. Right, that is right. When he's at his best. He's not going to sit there in the pocket and dice you up. That's not who he is. You got to keep You got to contain that edge, man. You got to – have to, have to, have to. So this is one 33-yard pass. Avery should be – his guy has a step. He should be throwing this more downfield. Instead, mm -hmm. he ends up throwing a jump ball, like literally where his guy has to go up and jump forward, and you'll be able to see better from the other angle, where he could add a lot more run after catch had he let him, but instead – He's throwing this jump ball for him, which is a great jump ball by 10. Great yeah. jump ball by 10. But I, he, he struggles with touch. As oh, in, the finesse. The, but yeah, right. being able to put the ball exactly finesse. Like some quarterbacks, they can just throw it hard, but he's he struggles being able to lead his receivers and really just finesse it. Like those post routes, they were good throws, but he – Honestly, he was just slinging those as hard as he could. <laughs> yeah. Versus being able to, you know, especially with that wide open. I mean, man, you just <laughs> yeah. Okay, we have another pass. I believe this is Oklahoma State that they're facing. We get play action. Everything's based off of play action. Rolls out has a wide open tight end. It's a good throw on the run, but it, it's guys wide open. We, we're we're going to see a lot, a lot of it just be guys wide open. I'm about to bring that back on the stage. Which he's doing what he's supposed to do. I'm not faulting him for right. he's being wide open, but I don't see him make the throws consistently if they're not wide open. Like this is wide open. And in, in, in my sleep, I'm making that today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they don't know that you used to be a quarterback. They might think you just be joking, bro. <laughs> they don't know that I played football. The people don't. They don't they just, <laughs> Another one, tight end wheel route. I believe this is against Oklahoma State. And he's looking at it the whole yeah. time. So it's, to it's the safety off the play action. Watch that helmet. Action. Off the play action. Wide open. Wide open. It's like, yeah, you're supposed, you're supposed to make these throws. So I'm not knocking them for making these throws, but this is these are their explosive plays. Man. He's not gonna drop wide open. He's not gonna, they're gonna try to get you in the middle of the field or wheel routes. That's that's who they are. Empty. Interception. Interception. He's going right here. Oh, he don't see the Mark. robber. He no, it's not the robber that does it. Oh, he slingshot. undercuts it. Yeah. Oh. Yep. He's gonna go undercut it. You're right there for perfect interception. And I'm sure just from watching his film that he stared him down the entire way. Stared him down. <laughs> and this throw can't be on a line like this to this guy. If he's right here, you got to try to drop the ball over. That mm -hmm. safety, if you throw it right, this safety shouldn't be able to get to it. But he's playing like a trail technique. Mm -hmm. So he's going to, anything underneath, he's going to undercut. He, like, he's waiting for that. And yeah, it's just, Bad decision right there. Yeah, perfect. I mean, he was in perfect position to get mm -hmm. in. Bad decision. Now back to BYU. Game was tight at this point. 10-6. Oh, yeah. This was crazy. Halfback screen and threw an interception on it. 
I'm still, I watched this a few hey. times. I'm still not sure how this happened. It just throws it right to, I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> still not sure how that happened, but that, that's a costly turnover. BYU scores. Kansas State gets the ball back. Pressure. Scrubbers at the middle. Those are, oh, man, Terrible. he got him. linebackers. <laughs> he got them. Again, he is. There's no real finesse to his game. He's trying to just like the undercut interception that we watched. He's mm -hmm. just trying to sling it like as hard as he can to him. And I don't know if he didn't see the linebacker. Thought thought he'd be able to get it with like he's right there. There's no finesse to it. Hey, even oh. number seven, even the other guy probably would have got it. Look at the other. The yeah, essentially, <laughs> man. Worst case scenario, he would have broke the ball up. Right. Right. Right, facts. And this is who is this against? Maybe Oklahoma State. Mm. Just the poorly thrown ball. He's trying to throw it right here. Just a bad thrown ball ends up in the interception. That was not the receiver I thought he was going for. No, me neither. Who is this? Yeah, it's Oklahoma State. So the first Oklahoma State. And yeah, he. This play off play action, but he struggles in the pocket. Like there's, there's, you can call that pressure, but like you can't sell it over your quarter, your running back, ten yards away. Um, let's see. Okay, play action again. I'm gonna hit Dylan Edwards right here for a touchdown. I don't Wide open. When we're looking at his touchdowns. They've primarily been wheel routes. DJ Giddens had one. Tight end had one. Dylan Edwards got one. Like this, he he's wide limited. open. You can tell by the play calling that right. they they're limited in what they can call mm -hmm. because he's not gonna stand. He's not gonna um, he's not gonna be throwing corner routes at least not accurately. If he is throwing a corner route, they're probably gonna roll him to that side so he gets closer to it. Uh, he's he's going to throw post routes. He'll throw some seam routes and wheel routes. But accuracy, like, <clears throat> this is someone that you would want to – you want to make him make the intermediate throws. Right. Like, make him make – like, take the post away. Uh, <clears throat> take the deeper routes away mm -hmm. and make him throw intermediate. What I mean by intermediate is 8 to 18, that yard range. Make him, make him throw digs against yeah. the zone. Make him throw over routes against the zone, the well played zone. They run a lot of hitches. I'm jumping them. Jump. I'm jumping them. I'm sending the blitz and I'm jumping hitches. If you got enough time to get it off, I don't trust that you'll get it off accurately. And you know, this is just evaluation of Avery Johnson as a quarterback right now. Uh, he's he he has a lot of work to do. And yes, he when you bookmark loop. He cannot beat Colorado on his own. He can't. He's not capable of beating him just with his arm. His touchdowns come from certain ways. Now, if Colorado's not guarding the wheel routes, not covering those well, if they're leaving guys wide open, coming across the middle on post, then yeah, yeah. he can have a field He's going to get you. Right. But if Colorado stays disciplined and doesn't let guys get sucked in and the wheel routes get out, then, then it comes down to DJ Giddens. Can he beat you on his Hello. own? Yeah. So. So that's what we got for Avery Johnson. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check us out. We break down all college football, all players, unbiased. Um, if you want deep dives, like this was a snippet of Facts. Avery Johnson. If you want the full game breakdowns, the full offensive breakdowns, their tendencies, the coaches' tendencies, you guys got to uh, follow us on Patreon. Link in the description of this video, every video. It's in our bio. It's on our link tree link. It's everywhere. Or you it's just everywhere. go to it. On search button prime three different tiers we're over 800 strong in there it's absolutely awesome uh, make sure you like share comment subscribe to this video because if, if you learn something yeah just make sure you show some love um so yeah how, how, how you feeling about them uh ct and how do you feel if you feel any different from how we broke them down this summer compared to now um, I feel like in the summer I was more worried about him. I just thought mm -hmm. like, okay, this like like this kid's got raw potential. Well, 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 well you you were more worried about running quarterbacks this yeah, summer. Yeah, because I it, I was like, okay, man, he's got he could run all you know he's gonna he was gonna be a problem. Uh, but seeing what 
to how our defense. I'm so happy we played UCF last. Seeing seeing that rushing attack and that running quarterback and, and things like that, and like I, I feel like our defense won't have any excuse not to be ready for Avery Johnson. I don't think Avery Johnson is a better passer than KJ Jefferson. I don't know how much that you want to take into that, but uh, I just faster. don't. You know, I think man, I. With our secondary, I I think him throwing the ball like that to the to, which I think the top secondary in probably, probably in the nation, true. honestly. Uh, I don't see how we don't end up getting a couple turnovers, man, and just and just build off that. I don't feel like Avery Johnson can beat us by himself. No, no, like, I'm I, telling you, he can't. It's not. Oh, yeah. I'm not <laughs> him, he cannot. It's not possible. Not possible. So definitely got to be disciplined on the you know the read options and things like that because mm. the RPOs they do it off of that. The RBOs right. he can hand it off to the running back. He can pass it or he can keep it himself, which he really does uh, keep it himself in RPOs and read options. He does. Um, you already know my game plan. Yeah. Okay. Blitz the back. Yep. Blitz the back. If you want to know what that means, go ahead and Patreon. It's not me <laughs> just saying that that's a specific. I don't even care if y'all think I don't know. I'll do you know, <laughs> blitz the back. I promise you, blitz the back. Um, and uh, we'll maybe we'll do a little more on that or just post it after the game, but yeah, how are you feel it, bro? But blitz the back, Colorado, blitz. you hear that? Blitz Ab- the back, <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, uh, make sure you check us out. CT, final words, okay, to evolve. Who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Do your words match your video? Yeah, this for my boy TKL. Hey, baby.